do some soldering. Sorry, I'm, this is 24 gauge silicone wire. Uh, yeah, it's turnigy wire. So let's see if I can get this nice and thin and tight. Turn down my um, soldering iron. It doesn't need to be quite that high for what I'm doing. inspect that. Actually what I'm going to do now that I have tinned them, I'm going to cut it short and what I am doing is I am tinning I am tinning these wires to be the leads on my flight controller. So let's see if I can. Oh, nice. Perfect. Sweet. Perfect. It's almost like a blind. Like I'm blind doing this. So let's see if I can use this fat tip and accurately tin this bastard without a whole lot of. Perfect. Pretty good. So I decided to do it this way. predominantly decided to do it this way because it would look so much cleaner. And that uh, the overall, not only the overall appearance would be cleaner, but it'll be underneath the board, which will keep it out of the way out of the way again. So I've seen a couple of these builds and I've had a friend that I've been assisting with his build um, on a technical standpoint. He was asking the question about this particular flight controller and whether or not we needed to do a 5 volt Pololu, Pololu, yeah, Pololu board like uh, Mr. Steel does or some other people do but because the KISS flight controller has a built-in uh, 5 volt BEC in it you don't have to worry about that and it saves you a little bit of time and frustration and a little bit of money uh, one less thing to have to worry about wiring up so this little bad boy is going to sit up there. I need to have enough to bring down to these two pads. I could also go north to the other two pads. I think I'm going to cut wire about. I want to be able to pull it off and lay it over or lay it over. 
So I'm going to do enough. Well, my soldering iron is hot. I'm going to go ahead and retin these other these other wires here. Let's see here. I'm going to do a little fold over. I think either way that'll be fine. Having a hard time keeping my uh, my hands and wire in frame when I'm doing this kind of work. I tend to bring it up to my face instead of my face down to the uh, product as I'm twisting and soldering gets too far away and it's difficult to see you know I think I really do like it closer to that 750 it seems to just really everything just works just right Damn. 